and mm-hmm. I think we can deliver this time. And be, it's going to be fun, you know, for us anyway. Yeah, one thing that I've uh, I've seen over the years of going to shows, especially with how the whole NIN community has now really evolved, uh, with um, you know ETS has been around for a while. Uh, t- technology with cell phones, now iPhones to be able to track each other. Uh, when the spiral was alive, how the NIN.com community is now, it's just not just going to a show and enjoying the show. It's the whole experience of showing up, meeting up with friends, building stuff, up, you know, planning to hang out beforehand while you're waiting online, enjoying the show afterwards is a whole like new experience. Like, so you're, you're saying we're, we're mm-hmm. kind of morphing into the Grateful Dead, in other words. No, no, not at all. No, no. I, <laughs> in and awful hippie music does not mix. No, I mean the <laughs> elements of community and but, following people around and yeah, you know, it's, tie-dye and shit. Eh, I, I don't doubt you're going to see really much tie-dye shit. Maybe uh, black instead of tie-dye. But it just, especially now... You know, knowing that this is the last tour, that, you know, it's, this is it. It's time for people, you know, when they go out to go see the concerts, not to bitch and moan about something, to just fucking enjoy it. Like, this is it. Enjoy the, your time. So. I suspect there's still some, some bitch oh, yeah. and moan. Uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't play my favorite song, why not? Shut up. Exactly. Tons of songs. Enjoy it. You went to a concert. You got to see it. So live. that's it. That's all. That's all you people could come up with. That's the only questions. No. Uh, well, you know, I could probably like, pass out like, like uh, a bunch of more questions, but you know, we kept it to the top ten. The top ten. Okay. okay. If you want, here's a question I had. Um, I didn't okay. ask it, but I might as well. You know, I have you right here, so I might as well ask it. Uh, the slip. When you wrote the slip, you wrote it with your at the time full band. You didn't have a basis at the time. Was that the first time? Like, how how do you guys write it? Was it just you pretty much writing and producing most of the music and then having, like, Robin and Josh come in and, and do a part here and there? Or did you guys actually do the album, like, as a band? I never saw that ever asked. Um, that record really wasn't, wasn't done as a band too much. You know, it was mainly because of the super tight schedule of trying to pull that off in a limited amount of time. And I think I had written, I think I had written The Skeleton of One Million and maybe Letting You, although I can't remember. And Alan showed up and we said, let's just start plowing through it, you know. So I, we used Josh to play drums on some stuff and Robin played guitar on some stuff, but it really was um, a couple of days in the studio with those guys to get parts. And the rest of it was just this high-speed kind of, um, I won't say assembly line, but it was a very, very focused, we knew we had this much to do and this much time, and that, that makes me knuckle down and just do the work instead of um, getting into farming our responsibilities. You know? And um, that's just how it went. You know, it, wasn't, it wasn't so much... Uh, it, it was never approached as, let's, let's get together and jam and write songs. I don't even know how you do that. But I did use the resources of the guys in the band to play parts, but it was really just the team of um, Atticus and Alan Mulder and I really getting down to business and seeing if we could pull off the idea of making a full album in that much that little time. You know, and it was a fun process. You know, it was uh, it was fun. I doubt I will do something like that in the near future, you know, because I, I can see where there are strengths to taking more time or having a bit more time to to um, reflect on what you've done and maybe edit yourself a bit. But it literally came down to finish the mix, get in the car, we have to go to mastering, and it's going to be online the next day. You know, like it, it was, that was a good rush. You know, it was a good... Like you did with this fun one. Kind of, it was a fun thing to see. Yeah, it was fun to be able to say you did it, you know. And, and I'm pleased with the results, I really am. But, um, you know, I think it sets the stage for me to do the opposite next time I get around. And I, I don't mean take five years to make a record, but right. um, something that's kind of the process is backwards from that. Sounds fun to me. Now. Good to hear. All right. Mm-hmm. So, 
Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's that's ten questions plus one. Um, okay, really don't know how to really end this. Really, no, instead of well, I'll um, give you guys. A, I'll give you a farewell. Thank you. you. Did a great job interviewing, and I appreciate the questions nice. from the community. And I hope I answered them. I mean, I try to be as honest as possible. And um, I thank you guys for your support. I hope I see you out on the road. And uh, just a note, when I'm on Twitter, I'm not always being completely serious about every single thing I say. So I'm not really going to watch romantic comedies tonight. <laughs> so don't throw your vinyl out just yet. But. Like, oh my god, he wants Meg Ryan stuff. No. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Last things, uh the plug quickly, NIN.com. Uh Ninja Tour two thousand nine. I think that's the site right or ninja two thousand nine dot com. So I don't know, I think. And, what else? Uh, the tour dot nin dot com. There we go. Sounds about right. All right, um, yeah. All right man. thank you so very much. I'm going to end the conversation now. Goodbye. Well, the recording. Let me get back, right back, back to you and join the beautiful art in this hotel. It's beautiful. Yes. Take care.